This is a very surprising report. I, I was quite genuinely shocked to read this. Tesla. Now, I did know, and I think we all knew that they were getting some of their parts from India, but not a big number. I mean, India is, is a very small player in the automotive industry worldwide. You can check the numbers if you don't believe me on that one. However, things have changed rapidly. I mean, really, to me, this is quite a shock just how quickly this change has made. Is this a threat to Chinese EV hegemony? Is it a threat to China's dominance? It actually really is. Or so is the United States, for that matter. But India, who would have thought? Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. India, the reason I really hoped that Tesla would not build an electric car factory in India, and I'm very sorry to my Indian subscribers, but I have to point out the truth, and that is that the Indian government has a very bad track record when it comes to foreign companies, but it doesn't like you anymore or it wants to take over your business. It just does. And that's not some kind of scare tactic, some kind of like internet rumor, but this happened numerous times. Um, Basically, foreign companies have entered India, built factories, built companies, and then the Indian government has just said, thank you very much, we'll have that, bye-bye. Now, am I saying that was gonna to happen to Tesla if they built a gigafactory in India? I don't know. What do you think? I mean, we've all seen Mark Rober's videos on uh, all those Indian call centers. I'm not saying that that's all of India is like that, but um, yeah, it does seem like a scary possibility. That said, Tesla will spend 2 billion on components from India this year. After years of negotiating with the Indian government over high import taxes on vehicles, a new report says that Tesla plans to make big investments in India this year. So it seems as though this may be Tesla's way of maybe testing the waters, getting a corporation going, and then possibly actually going through with their plans for an Indian gigafactory. Maybe Tesla is seeing a different future here too. Maybe they're seeing a, a, a change in the Indian population, increased wealth worldwide. India is definitely a part of that wealth growth worldwide, possibly a massive increase in car ownership in a country with 1.4 billion people. And now that could happen much the same way that it has in China. With Tesla and India still working out the finer details for their partnership that would see a new gigafactory come to the country, Tesla Rati says a new statement from the government officials show that the automaker will purchase billions of dollars worth of automotive components from the country. Tesla plans to source up to 1.9 billion in automotive components from India this year alone, according to a statement from the country's commerce and industry minister, Piyush Goyal, and Wednesday, according to TechCrunch. Now, is this actually true? I mean, Sometimes politicians will make outlandish statements, right? And we just go, yeah, okay, you're obviously campaigning for something. We have no way of knowing if this is actually true. But we do know that this information came during an automotive event in New Delhi. And the purchases could nearly double the roughly $1 billion in auto parts that Tesla purchased from India in 2022, which I also wasn't aware of. $1 billion in 2022 to an increase of $1.9 billion in 2023, what are we looking at in 2024? Could be even more than that. We'll start enjoying the fruits of new technologies, innovation, and R&D coming into India, said Goyal at the event. The auto component industry will not only then produce for a larger Indian demand, but with the same components models being sold in the rest of the world, we will start exporting those components. When asked if the Indian government would consider incentives to lower import duties on vehicles, Goyal said the country would consider coming up with a new policy. However, that's very unlikely considering what India just did. What was it about a month or two ago where they banned all tablet sales, all computer sales that weren't made in India? Basically, they screwed Indian sellers of computers and basically electronics by saying that anything not made in India it was illegal to be sold in the country. Now, I don't know when that's coming into play, but I think it's actually coming in fairly soon. So this is the kind of protectionism that India is currently um, enacting in the country. So yeah, yet another reason, in my opinion, to um, be very careful about what Tesla does in the future. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching.